But moving on, we're done with DreamWorks. Illumination. Again, the tier list is a little different. We now have great, good, okay, meh, bad, and awful. And a slightly different color palette, at least that's nice. Not many options, which is fine by me. Again, I ain't seen every movie. There's not a lot of illumination to watch, but man, I'm going to soak as much content as I can out of these movies. <laughs> Let's be honest. Despicable Me seems like a really fun, crazy, inventive series to play with. Despicable Me 3, I don't think it did. I didn't see it. So we'll put it as meh. Does that sound like, sound like a good start? Following that, we have Despicable Me 2. I did see this one. I remember it. I really don't remember it. Maybe I didn't see 2. We'll put it as okay. I, I really don't remember it. <laughs> That's me being very generous. Despicable Me 1 wasn't bad, I think. I think that was actually a decent movie before they realized how limited they needed to be Illumination. Again, don't remember any specific details, just general minion moments. I'm surprised there aren't more memes of the minions other than Facebook memes. Um, but I'm sure Minions 2 will give us boatloads. I so, so look forward to it. Ugh. Can you imagine life without the minions? Uh, anyway, moving on, we got The Grinch. Hey, The Grinch, I never saw. I like the slapstick look. I think people enjoyed it. We'll put it at okay. Are we going to get a single great? I'm not sure about that. <laughs> I think this might be as good as it gets. Good. Which is big with me one. What am I looking at? That's a... Is that hop? Oh, it is. That's so cluttered. Oh, God. All right. So, hop. We watched it last Christmas. It was an Easter movie. We watched over Christmas. Great fun. Really fun how it has um, that guy in it again after doing a road trip with Sonic. Five years later, he does a, Son uh, a Sonic-esque same road trip movie with this guy hop bad riding all around but i really enjoyed it pretty crappy but like hey is it okay no <laughs> no it's not probably better than despicable me 3 maybe i don't know but no yeah mm. no no it's not we'll put it a meh it's not bad i enjoyed it enough there's nothing else to say about that the lorax i never saw but i heard it's bad i heard it's really boring they didn't play it off very well at all so let's put it as that. Bad. Bad movie. Boring. Does Dr. Seuss a sad? Yeah, that's all the rest of that. <laughs> Minion movie. Oh, this. This movie was so successful. It got a lot of cinema tickets. And I remember I watched this movie in cinemas with all my friends. We all went together to watch the Minion movie. I think we went to watch it ironically. But we were part of the problem. There was like a solid eight or nine of us. All in a line in the middle of the cinema in screening. Watching Minions. We all watch as those British guards took off their garments and swung around their hair for all the Facebook mums to go lifting their arms and waving. We were part of the problem. We did this. I did this. Either way, it's an awful film. It's just, oh, oh my god. No, I've done a whole terrible video on it. I, I, I'm so sick of the Minions, personally. What is this? Pets 2? Yeah, Pets 2. And then there's Pets 1. I didn't even remember there was a Pets 2, in all honesty. Uh, Pets, I think, has a quite a high rating. They all have quite high ratings, surprisingly. That's what I remember finding when I looked at Hop. Hop's the only one that doesn't. And yet I put it as... Meh? Interesting. Alright. <laughs> Pets 2, haven't seen. Probably not very good. Better than Lorax. But we're good at it bad. Pets 1, The Secret Life of Pets. Again, Facebook mum bait, you know. See Like a Pets was the perfect Facebook mom bait. Great for the trailer. The evil rabbit bunny poops itself. We'll put it at a low bad. But the final Illumination movie there is. I'm surprised we've gone through this quickly. Is there not a recent one? I guess not. No, we're waiting on the new Minion movie. Because, of course, they've got to make all the more Minion movies. Is Sing. I did this again as well last December. The song that Taron Egerton sings, you know, as um, Elton John... That's really, really good. When his gorilla dad is fighting him out of the jail, that's really good. Everything else, meh. Yeah, put it as a meh. There is not a single great <laughs> Illumination movie. It only gets good when they started at the very beginning and it's only gotten worse since. And yet their worst film is the one that's coming back. 
Of course. Actually, Lorax might be worse. There you go. At least they can't go that bad. But yeah, this one's coming back. Is it going to be good? No, it'll be meh. Right with number three, I bet. Something like that. Oh, well. Nice and quick, because there's so little of illumination. That's all there is to say. I, like, I'm just... This, moves, this music is going way harder than it needs to for illumination. Like, <laughs> that's kind of the point. The animation is so good. The suave, the slapstick, the, 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 the all of it's fantastic. Crazy, over the top. Keeps the kids invested. But the quality, the writing, the actual care and quality put into it is like my commentary. I'm just, I'm just fatigued and tired of this. Like, I don't find enjoyment in most of this. I can watch it ironically. I can get good content out of it. I can enjoy when I'm working on it. But the fact that this is the state of the movie industry is just like a, ugh. It's, uh, it's a grind on me, you know? I think that's my stance on Illumination. Could really do with something more. But there ain't.